That's amazing. You were able to just turn her right around you. Yeah, yeah. She knows. Don't turn. Don't turn her butt towards me. That's no, no. Okay. How does she know you're putting pressure on her right now? That's what I'm amazed at. Because most horses, I have to. So now, too, see how my shoulders? I'll kind of turn away, and I'm telling her to come to me. That is crazy. So she's kind of learned, like, so my body language is a lot of it, and so she, she'll just follow me around now. Good morning, farm friends. I'm gonna take you somewhere super exciting. But before that, I'm gonna go drop off this buckskin filly to Hunter and his family. So Blake's pulling back here. We're gonna load this filly up and then I'll take you somewhere else. And I'm super excited to take you along because I'm excited to go myself. So anyway, <laughs> this filly's trying to get past me. Come along as I deliver this buckskin and then head to Flagstaff, Arizona. Good to have Blake's help. He's been so busy with football. And today he's got his trash route. Some of you may not know about that. Our kids have paid their way through college and for their missions. Well, I shouldn't say their way through college, but got a good start for college and, and missions by having about 45 clients that they haul their trash for them every week. Keep going, Blake. Oh. All right, so Blake parked the truck and now we'll both come around. And I think we can get her right on, that's what I'm hoping. There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, let's uh let's see if we can tie it. It'll be good for it to tr train it. So um, see if you can grab that rope. Put it right. It'll take one more step. You'll have it. Right there. That's Perfecto the money. Perfecto de Bob. <laughs> Uh, my father-in-law, who also used to buy and sell a lot of horses, taught me if you can tie a horse like this in a trailer, by the end of the trailer ride, they're broke to lead. <laughs> and I, I really believe it helps them a lot. Well, Hunter and his parents weren't home, but I dropped the filly off and she'll do good there. They decided to name her Critter and the last one they got, they call Remington. So Remington and Critter are gonna have a good home. But now I'm in Flagstaff, Arizona, and I'm so excited to see how Penny is doing, and the plan is to bring her home today. Amory put 30 days of training on her, and when I brought Penny, she was no more than broke to lead. And so let's see where she's at now, and. If you want to follow that progress, go to Amory's channel, Amory Palmer. She's my cousin's daughter, so she's a first cousin once removed. Not that it matters, but she just calls me Uncle Alan. But anyway, uh, I'm almost to her house. Amory and her boyfriend live in Wickenburg, Arizona in the winter, which is the team roping capital of the world. And then Flagstaff, Arizona in the summer, she comes up here and, and trains horses at her dad's place, which is awesome because Flagstaff, Arizona is 83 degrees right now. Wickenburg would be probably 113. 
So it's, it's 20 to 30 degrees hotter in Wickenburg than it is in Flagstaff. So in the summer, that's awesome. Then in the winter, it's 20 to 30 degrees warmer in Wickenburg than it is in Flagstaff. So she has the best of both worlds. I'm just pulling up. So let's go see how Penny's doing. She looks good. She shed off all the way now. I think she might have grown a little bit, maybe not much. I think she has. But yeah. And her mane has all been on one side now too. Oh, that is awesome. How have so, you done that? Um, I actually, when I talked to that massage lady more, she said the reason a mane will split is because they're unaligned somewhere. You're but kidding. the more you work a horse and like do round pin stuff, they can align their body back themselves and then the mane will lay on one side. Wow. But supposedly like if the horse's mane splits like completely in half like this, she said you could take your rope and you could measure like that. And then you go right here and like that would kind of be the area in the back where she would be sore or something. That is crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't know how much truth there is to that, but it was funny because as soon as I started working her more, the mane laid on the same side she naturally. Lo she looks so good. So Cisco and I are on a video duty today, but go check out Amory's video today. Cisco's showing you how to pull a tire on a young horse that they're gonna get roping eventually. She is looking really good. Yeah, she looks good. So any horse that I've seen Amory train becomes so gentle and Go check out our video called The Crazy Dance. That's kind of a fun one, but anyway. So I was so excited to send Penny just to get a great foundation and start. And you can tell she's just standing there like an old mare instead yeah. of a two-year-old. Yeah. I kind of like that like theory, like they won't know how to act like a baby if you don't ever act, let them act like a baby. Well, if they just kind of always think they're a broke horse. That's awesome. Bidding him up right away. And I kind of showed it in one of my first training videos with Penny, but if you just kind of like always do it, then the bit is never a big deal. I loved that. Like um, you just put it on from day one and just ignore it. Cause it's, I don't want them to learn to play with it. Like I know I used to, when I was younger, I'd be like, okay, let's put it on and let him go play with it and figure it out. But I think you're kind of teaching them to play with the bit okay. when you do that. But if I could just kind of put it on and then go to work, she just knows it's like my saddle. It's just another tool. So and from like the beginning, you, you put a green. bit in. Yeah. And even if like she can still flex and I could ride her in the halter, but for me, 95% of horses are going to be used in a bit. And like, she loves the bit. Cause I made it like super fun and she'll take it good. And, and like, it's just a ring snaffle, right? Mm -hmm, just an old ring snaffle. Okay. Yeah. And I noticed, this is something I loved from your video. She dropped her head, she turned into you. Mm -hmm. What? Those are cool little yeah. tricks. That... And just like, cause I try to make it fun. Like I don't ever shove the bit in her mouth. Like I'll stick my finger in first and ask her to like take it. And I kind of practice this. Like she'll open her mouth if I just stick my finger in. And it's like no big deal. But then, like, she kind of likes to, she likes head scratches now, so I can get her to lower her head. Like, I just kind of try awesome. to make it fun. And then, like, the bit doesn't have to be dreaded, for, but it is sometimes for a lot of horses. That's awesome. I love those little tricks that I hadn't even considered, but that's awesome. Because yeah. you hate to bit up a horse that turns their head or throws their head. or Yeah. Like, the word, I remember I was, like, five, and I was trying to bit up my horse by myself. And just like having to shove my hands in the air, like couldn't reach it. And like, I couldn't bit up my horse by myself. And I think after that, I was like, I don't ever want to struggle with that again. That's awesome. I will, I'll just leave it there right now. Cause I'm gonna work her in the halter. But so I just put the halter over it and then I'll just wrap it, uh, the reins around the saddle. Pump. That's a different kind of 
halter. Yeah, I've never so seen actually, that. Um, I did some stuff for these Amish people and they made it for me. That's really <laughs> cool. You didn't have to tie it. That's yeah. really neat. There are uh, some of those other videos from those sail horses. It was their horse and then they made me this halter. Well, that's awesome. So she saddled up like a champ, and Emery said she puts the rope on it every time just to kind of get it used to things like that. Those are little tricks that I never thought of, but pretty awesome. I'm excited to see how she does here. Cousin's got a beautiful place here in Flagstaff, Arizona. Hope he doesn't mind me showing it. But uh, what a facility to get to train horses during the summer, and then when it gets cold, they're down in Wickenburg. Okay, so Amory's philosophy is she wants a horse to come to her, not her to have to chase a horse. And so I've been watching Amory's videos of Penny, so I've seen a lot of this. That's amazing to me that she just... She's very, very responsive, and this is, Penny's really responsive on her own, which is awesome. Wow. So, kind of before I had to teach her to change directions, she's got that pretty good now. I still want her to always face me when I change directions. Wow. I'm just impressed she's going with that kind of speed because you're not putting much pressure. No, yeah, and she's, she's learned to see my point. All I have to do is point and she knows to lope. Oh my gosh. She's a... Uh, We did some work and we had a couple days where it was longer days, but... That's amazing. You were able to just turn her right around you. Yeah, yeah. She knows don't turn, don't turn her butt towards me. That's no, no. How does she know you're putting pressure on her right now? That's what I'm amazed at. Because most horses, I have to... That is crazy. So she's kind of learned, like, so my body language is a lot of it. And so she, she'll just follow me around now. So how, tell me how you'd make her go again then. So if I want her to go again, I'd turn my shoulders to her and point. And just a little bit of pressure. That's, I'm using my body language. Wow. Because horses, they communicate with each other through body language. So I just, I'm trying to communicate with her the way she knows how to be communicated with. Uh -huh. She's filling her oats this morning. My love? Oh no. So then I'll kind of see how I kind of. She knows too that the middle is the rest spot because oh. I always let her rest there. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. So, so you should never have a problem catching her because. And see if she doesn't want to follow, I'll kind of look at her back in and tell her, get up here, get up here. And then I could go the other way too. Amory, you have done ama amazing with Penny. Thanks. And I haven't even so got- So that's step one. You got to catch your horse. All right. That's... So like if you were in the pen and for some reason she feels frisky or something and she goes away from you, like now that I've done this with Penny, you should be able to like kind of look at her and be like, if you want to run, like I'll make you run and she'll know better and be like, okay, like, you know, it's easier just to come to me because I'll let her rest here in the middle. So I watched Amory's video about this, but sometimes you're putting pressure, but other times you're teaching them that that's not pressure. That's just desensitizing them. So she just stands there. She doesn't flinch. It's just amazing that with Amory's body language, Penny knows not just to, to walk away, but she, she loped and you didn't have to put much pressure at all. Yeah. A point and it's even kind of fun because then when I have the halter on her like if there I need her to cross over somewhere and I I don't want to go there myself I'll just point and tell her to go that way then I could draw her back to me point see she knows just my point Good job. that's awesome and then I'll just point. good girl now I know she's super early in her training, but you've done a lot of rodeoing and stuff. 
Do you think she'd be a better barrel horse or rope horse? In my opinion, the best horses are the all-around horses. So, so you think she could do everything? Yeah. I think that, I think um, it'd kind of be like a person having a desk job their whole life, having to sit there and do the same job. To me, that's what barrels is, is like doing the same thing. So you have to mix it up and make it fun. Or you could make a team roping repetitive too, if you only head on her and you do the same thing every day. Like, I just think horses, they enjoy having a job, but they're smart too. So they don't want to get bored of something. Do you think she has the ability to do everything? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. She's very smart. She's so light too. And then the other stuff I've done, just some lunging. And this, I know some people like to lunge to get their horses tired, but the new thing I've just probably been doing is I'm just trying to get her to move her feet when I tell her to move her feet. So it's actually lunging for respect because I'm just asking her to move her feet when I want it to. And then when I want to draw her into me, I'll point out second and stand up. So Amory's just making sure she flexes. She did that before with the halter and over the snaffle and did great. She's on top of her. Amory is amazing. It would be fun to be able to afford a year's worth of training with a trainer like Amory. But she sure got us a great start. your face now tell me how she knew to, to stop just because you sat down because i quit the pressure i just sat and it might if she walked for a little bit I, that's okay as long as she just got a slower gait but at this age she doesn't really know what stop means so if you do need to emergency stop them just use a one rein stop and just pull her like this until she stops and then she'll have to disengage her hind end and then the engine shuts off that was amazing that she knew just with you relaxing that she could stop. Yeah. She's, she's doing really good. I've also practiced swinging my rope on her a couple times. I just like them to get used to it. If she was afraid, I'd let her move her feet and just settle down on her own. But she's pretty calm with all of it. I'll throw it out there drag it back that's amazing i did all this stuff on the ground first and then when you get on them it's so easy i'm just like rubbing their head right here and stuff like that'll make them be really like see she really likes to come to me and i have to like i, I have to have a fine line between rubbing on me and just like let me rub yeah. on her because like she likes it i don't want her to necessarily rub on me but yeah so i'll give her some scratches and then she really likes that I've noticed you're always giving scratches. Emery, you're amazing. You really are. Thank you. You've done an awesome job. Penny was very, very fun to work with. Well, we cannot thank you enough. And to show Emery that you have enjoyed what she's done, go keep watching her videos and Cisco's videos. They're doing an amazing job and I can't wait to see where their YouTube channel goes and their careers with horses. And what's your, Right now your channel is called Amory Palmer, but what yeah. do you call your horse business? So me and Cisco have our horse business together and it's CNA Horses. We have cnahorses.net. You can check out our website. I've got a Facebook page. I'll definitely have to start pushing that more and show you guys more of the business side because it's kind of been a personal side, but I'm excited to show the business more. Yeah, so CNA horses. let's keep following them. You could be a model for our hats, but the <laughs> actually, <Thank you. laughs> guys, I am so excited. I couldn't be more pleased with how Amory has done with Penny. Tell me what you think. And now I got to decide what I do with Penny. I actually have thought that maybe I'd sell her, uh, which you may think I'm crazy. But after watching her again, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. So and you may have questions why I would sell her. Maybe we'll address that in, the, in our next live or something. So anyway, Emery, thank you. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Penny's been awesome to work with. 
Well, you're an amazing trainer. So if you want Amory or Cisco, both of them right there, to work with your horses, give them, uh, probably not give you a call. Just, what's the best way to reach out to you? DNAhorses.net. Or go like and subscribe. I guess it's just the CA Horses. CA Horses. Mm -hmm. And go subscribe to their channel. And uh, we're looking forward to growing together in, our, in the YouTube world. So thanks, everybody, for coming along. And have a great day. sun is rising all it wants to do is shine so surprising